how can you take a human-centric, heart-centered approach to the way that you lead your people so that we can continue to inspire people to want to do more in a way that enhances their own sense of worth, in a way that creates something special and a legacy for the future generations they will never meet. The one thing that is so important to understand, and, and it came through it a couple of times there around you know, the talk of uh, different aspects of being calm and controlled and composed as a leader when we are speaking with our employees, when we are trying to make decisions on change in the people and culture space, we need to be that leader who has the greatest influence or power, so to speak, in the room. Now, if you put heart rate monitors, if I put heart rate monitors on every single person in the room, in most cases, the person who has the greatest influence and the greatest control will actually have the lowest heart rate. So how can you lower your pulse? How can you slow it down so you can control the energy of the room? So by lowering your pulse, we first start with breathing. And how can you control and slow the breathing rate down and deepen it through your belly button? If we breathe through our chest, we sit off the stress receptors. If we breathe through our belly button and go deep through our diaphragm, we start to uh, get the body to relax and open up and it opens up our mind. If you ever feel yourself struggling to speak, or you're kind of going down a rabbit hole going, what do I say next? Just stop and breathe deep and slow it down. Now, once we start to breathe and drop that down, it then lowers our pulse, which then allows us to control the energy of the room. If you want to have great influence in your life as a leader, in making positive change in your people and culture strategy, you must have to work on lowering your pulse. I'm pretty fortunate because people always ask me, how can you stay calm, composed and controlled and create that space where you feel calm and have that psychological safety around you? It always comes down to lowering your pulse. And I do have something of a bit of an advantage over most people in that my resting heart rate is 32. And at night when I sleep, it goes down to 24. <laughs> I may have been an athlete in my previous time. So uh, for you, I encourage you to do that. How can you think about your gravity of leadership? Are you creating a gravitational push today or gravitational pull and keeping to develop that sense of connectedness and belonging that's so important to cultures and thriving places of co collaboration and people doing amazing work in the workplace. How can you take a human-centric, heart-centered approach to the way that you lead your people so that we can continue to inspire people to want to do more in a way that enhances their own sense of worth, in a way that creates something special and a legacy for the future generations they will never meet? At Speakers Institute Corporate, we inspire great leaders through solving ineffective communication and decision-making in small, medium enterprises right through to Fortune 100 companies.